it looked like it looked like Philip DeFranco was going to potentially be joining us. I sent an invite and I don't know. He said he just needed to record a promo and then he would join us live, which would be great to catch up with Philly D. But I don't know where he went or how to get him back on. I see Ali Katz Corner asking about Doug Mastriano. I think he's disgusting. I mean, I think, listen, if Mastriano defeats Shapiro and becomes the governor of Pennsylvania... Uh, 2024 gets extraordinarily dangerous, extraordinarily dangerous, because he will try to steal the electoral votes in Pennsylvania if a Democrat wins. It's that simple. It's that simple. He will try to steal it. And so um, it is, uh, that's a really, we're watching that race really closely. Obviously, we're watching DeSantis Christ in Florida, although DeSantis looks like he's going to easily win. Um. And I'm trying to think, you know, Oz Fetterman we're watching, Demings Rubio is interesting, Beto and um, um, Abbott, although Abbott is winning right now. There's so many important races, so many different important races. Uh, All right, let's see if Philly D is ready to go here and see if he will join us. That would be very, very interesting. Um, And in the meantime, oh, hold on, is Philly D joining us? Let's see. A lot happening. Let's see. Philly D. Here we go. One second. I've never actually gone live. Look at this guy. How are you doing? I'm lagging. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Are you you're shooting promos? No, I was. I, uh, the show just went up. My brain's dead. So if you are looking for any sort of uh, meaningful, good conversation for me, it might not happen. <laughs> but I just. Uh, no, 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 no. I would never. I would never go to you for that. But yeah, no, but I had to come in and say that I'm a fan so that uh, some right wingers can hate on me for it. <laughs> Listen, we, I'm, oh, I, the, the feeling is mutual. Here was the one thing I wanted to ask you, because I don't know if you know the financial guy, Ramit Sethi. Do you know this guy who wrote the book, I Will Teach You to Be Rich? No. Okay. Really good financial writer. And on Twitter lately, he's been lighting up the right wingers. And all these people are like, I used to like you until you became political and all this different stuff. Mm. My memory of you is you used to be way less political in the earlier days of your YouTube stardom, which I think is absolutely the right term to use. And it seems now like you're sort of uh, letting it loose a little bit and just dealing with dealing with the repercussions of people (laughs) who don't like your opinions. Well, I would say uh, in 2016, I definitely finally got to to be political because, you know, uh, Clinton and Trump made everyone interested in politics for a little bit. And then everyone, yep. even if they don't want to be interested over the next four years after that, had to be. Um, but yeah, I think uh, until 27. Oh, and he's gone. <laughs> right, in- <laughs> right in the middle of a story. Let's see if we can get him back. That was nuts. I don't even know what happened there. He just bailed right in the middle of 2017. Something happened and then Philly bailed. Dear God. Uh, Man, that's crazy. Well, that's too bad. Phil just bailed. I think I could fill in the blanks. In 2017, he decided to let it all hang out. 